Hello guys and welcome to this week's vlog. So I realize I recorded some clips but I never came on to introduce the vlog. So here we are on Wednesday night. We actually had a friend over. We cooked some steaks. Well, Ryan cooked steaks and I cooked the sides. And we watched Shrek and Shrek 2 and just had a really good time catching up with a friend. He was in town for a little work event and that was really nice. And then basically just had a gaming weekend. We did not do a lot. As you can see, Saturday we stayed in bed pretty late. I made us like a huge breakfast. I made some pancakes, eggs, and bacon and it was so good. And then Ryan got me to play Kingdom Hearts, which I've actually never played before and that was a lot of fun. And then Sunday was Mother's Day, so of course I was getting ready in the morning and making a latte with you guys. I just love showing you my recipe, and this is actually my like perfected latte recipe. So I do almond milk, a little bit of half and half, and let that kind of um, foam up and froth up and get hot. And then I do a double shot. My favorite right now is the Dolce, the double espresso Dolce from espresso <laughs> I get mine online and then you brew the double shot into the milk and it's so so yummy good morning guys and happy Sunday I realize now that I have not been on camera the entire week for the vlog so sorry about that but I am actually getting ready for Mother's Day lunch with both my parents and Ryan's parents and it should be fun it's raining so hard outside it's been raining all week long and honestly we haven't done much <laughs> one big like major update is that we had a dog trainer come on tuesday for kai and his separation anxiety you know i've been complaining to you guys about that um i also want to say i'm using my elf power grip primer this is like the first week i'm using it because it's pretty new to me um, I have actually been doing it like this, squeezing it on my cheeks because it's so sticky. Like once it gets on your hands, it's never coming off. So um, I kind of like it as a primer though. I'll have to test it a little bit more whenever it's really hot outside. I feel like it's going to be perfect for that time of year, but for now it's definitely working. But anyways, yeah, we had a trainer come on Tuesday for Kai and we've already seen huge improvements. The basics of what he thinks is the source of Kai's separation anxiety is that he thinks that we are vulnerable. Instead of the other way around where we assumed that when we leave, he's like, hey, where are you going? Don't leave me. Why am I alone? It's actually the opposite. Um, the trainer said it's like you let a four-year-old kid go leave the house on their own and like you can't see them and you can't look after them and like you don't know what's going on that's how he views us he views us as like little babies that he has to take care of um so when we're outside the house and he's not with us he's worried about what's going to happen to us while we're gone so that's pretty sad but that's what um the trainer said is pretty much what's going on we basically have to just establish to him that you know we are capable of taking care of ourselves. So we basically have to just prove to him that we are the alpha, that we are the top dog, that we don't need protecting because we can protect ourselves. And so that's what we've been working on for the past like week. Um, basically just telling him like that he cannot follow us around the house, which he's been doing. Um, and if your dog does this, it's like totally different. Um, Kai lives in an apartment with us. So if he, while we're gone, if he is destructive or if he is loud and howling because he is part husky, um, you know, we get complaints from the apartment. So, you know, it's totally different if you're in a house. Like we didn't notice anything like this in the house, but anyways, yeah, he would always follow us around the house, around the apartment. Whenever we go from room to room, he'd have to like check on us, which was basically him being like, I'm gonna come with you, make sure you're okay. Um, so we kind of have been telling him, no, you can't do that. You can't follow us. And dogs are black and white. They know good and they know bad. So good is, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Love you. Like the baby talk voice. And bad is, you growl at him, which is like the funniest thing ever. But it worked. It worked. In the first session that we did it, he was like, oh my God, what are you guys doing? <laughs> so it definitely worked. So it's working a lot better. He's not following us around the house. Um, and we're testing leaving him 
alone for like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, all working our way up to an hour. And the trainer said, once we get to an hour, then he's pretty much solved. Um, so we're at like 20 minutes right now. Um, he does whine like once and you have to actually like bang the door as a correction um, for him to know that that's not okay. Um, but after that first like whine and we correct, he doesn't whine after that. So I don't know, it's been pretty good. Um, so that's really what we've been working on like all week. I, we haven't really gone anywhere. Um, haven't really done much. Also, the new Legend of Zelda game came out, so Ryan's been playing that, so he doesn't really want to leave the house, and I'm fine with that. And I started playing last night Kingdom Hearts, so if you guys have ever played that, let me know. I was not much of um, a gamer when I was younger, besides just Sims, so I've never played it. It's pretty fun, so, and I like that it's a lot of Disney characters, so that's cool. But anyways, yeah, I'm getting ready for lunch with the parents and just doing my makeup. Probably gonna go a little more casual because it is raining so hard outside and there's like a flood warning. So I'm not wearing heels or flats or sandals or anything. I'll definitely be wearing some sneakers. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup. Hair is already done, I did it last night. And then I will show you guys the final look. So I guess I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, here's the final look. I did some little pearl hanging earrings that I got in my rocks box this month. My little heart necklace from TJ Maxx. I have some little pearl beaded bracelets. And this is like an old American Eagle top from 2013. I've had it for so long and I barely ever wear it, but it's really cute. It's a little baby doll top and I just have jeans on and I'm gonna put on some sneakers. But I did use my Fenty eyeliner pen. I've been loving it. I think I wanna get it in black because the brown one is so easy to use, but that's the final look. I'm hoping my hair doesn't frizz up, but it probably will. So I might bring like a hair clip with me, I think. But yeah, we are ready to go. Hello guys, it is now Monday and I forgot to close out the vlog, but that was a really quick one. Like I'm editing it right now and it was only, oh, it was 11 minutes. Okay, I guess it wasn't as quick as I thought, but yeah, we really did not do a lot this week because we're just chilling. <laughs> it's a very low key week, um, which is much needed because Ryan has been on so many work trips last month that we really just needed time at home and just chilling. So yeah, we had a really great time at Mother's Day at lunch. That was actually the first time that our parents met and they got along really well, which I'm not surprised because obviously Ryan and I get along so well. So that was pretty cool. Um, and yeah, like you saw, they had a mariachi band at the Mexican restaurant that we went to, which was really funny. Um, and they stayed around our table for like the entire time we ate. So we could not talk at all, but that's fine. It was pretty fun. Um, and then we came back home and now we have Mia, which is Ryan's parents' dog. And I'll show you her. I think she's sitting on the couch. She's so cute. Oh, look. Who's that? Oh, she's doing a big stretch, huh? Hello. She says, yeah, I feel right at home. I've just been sleeping all day. She's so sweet. Sweet. But anyways, I will close out this week's vlog. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.